My Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your hosts, ACOS the Solutionist and John Cremens, the Doctor of Shopology. Now, here's John and ACOS. All right. Well, welcome back to My Cool Inventions Radio, live here from Tampa Bay, Florida, in our flagship station, 860 AM WGUL. And unfortunately, uh, ACOS it will not be with me today, uh, only because he is actually celebrating a wedding uh, a fa- of a family member in Budapest, Hungary. So what we've done, and I'll actually show some pictures on our MCI live feed, so you get a chance to experience uh, Isvan, and uh, I wish I can't even say her name. It's some Hungarian name that I really have a hard time saying. But uh, they, they have a beautiful wedding, and, and Akos has been having a great time. He was at uh, QVC UK last week, where his today's special and some of his products actually sold out really early, uh, like about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so we had a lot of free time over in, uh, at the, 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 the folks over at QVC UK, which is great. But joining us today and sitting instead... Uh, someone who is also incredibly accomplished when it comes to uh, television retailing uh, as a guest and as a host. Suzanne Runyon has joined us today on the show. Suzanne, Hi, welcome. Hello, hello. I got some big shoes to fill. That's all I have to say. Y- yes, you do. And, and you look so much better. I mean, honestly, <laughs> just sitting across, it's so much better to watch. Oh, why, thank but, you. <laughs> but, you know, Akos, it also, we're, we're, we, he's, he's really going to miss today because he, he likes having you around, right? And we, yeah. we both do. And I've known you for a tremendous amount of years. Yeah, so a long time. Th- with the success that you've had. But with you, like, it was like crafting and then... Well, no, I started back originally with QVC up in Philadelphia for That's years. Right. I was up there. And then I came down and did kind of crafting and guesting and kind of repping and then flipped over and went back to being a full-time host with HSN. So what'll, what'll be fun is that uh, we'll get a chance to talk to some of the inventors and you can ask questions if you like. Uh, and you've, you've been on the show before years ago and then mm-hmm. you kind of know the format. But now that we're into Genesis, we are in the final 64, the top 64 vote getters uh, of this contest that we've been having where we let America vote. They they chose. ACOS and I had nothing to do awesome. with who got into the top 64. And this is week number one. So we have some pretty cool products and some some great inventions today, like Simple Spin. What do you see with this? And we'll actually show you, uh, if you're watching us on our MCI live feed, which you can get on our website, you'll see uh, Flower Freshies, which is actually a cool product. Okay. <laughs> uh, Living Ledge, which I really like. Okay. And then uh, The Doorman, which is really cool. Okay. We, we've had we, we, the, the, the inventors. They really go th- all out, and they've been practicing their their pitches. So we're going to be hearing that uh, through the day. And oh, by the way, just uh, quickly, if you go to our website at mycoolinventions.com, you can actually follow the vote. Um, you hit you vote. It'll show you the inventions that we have, but also um, it'll also show you the voting. And the voting is live. We're gonna you're gonna be able to uh, text to the, the number two two three three three, and we'll give you the keyword uh, during the show, and then you'll be able to to vote that way. And while you're on our website, check out, um, there's a banner uh, on the right-hand side. We're going to have a a special seminar uh, coming up in August, August 20th, uh, and that's actually going to be in Tampa. Uh, It's uh, from pitch to PO, learn the secrets, uh, how to get a purchase order. Oh my gosh! Now that would retail. be that would be a great seminar. Yeah, it's it's between uh, you know ACOS myself and then the team from the Inventors Launchpad. Uh, we have a special uh, offering that uh, if you get a chance to, to do it now, you get in an early bird savings, and you, you'll see that. Just click on the banner and it tells you a little bit more about the uh, uh, the, the entire seminar that we're going to give. It's a three hour deal uh, on the on the twentieth. So check it out because there's going to be TV shopping, insider secrets, and a few other things. So uh, you can find that on our website at mycoolinventions.com. You ready to go though? Yeah, I'd love to. I know Let's I am. I mean, Let's we've been it. we've been waiting for uh, the the uh, the, uh, the Genesis project to really get underway, especially with the top sixty four. So let's go ahead, and we're going to actually bring in our first inventor, John David Collins, and he actually created the Simple Spin. Hey, John, welcome to Michael Inventions Radio. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey man, glad Hi, to John. glad to have you. You know, you actually had a chance to to pitch during our regular portion of My Cool Inventions Radio, and wow, you were the top vote getter in the entire contest. You know, I feel like Mike Tyson and, and, and Donald Trump, kind of a mix. You know, I feel like a champ, or I feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> it's very, very cool. You know, what we're going to do, in, in Genesis, we're going to get a chance to talk to the inventor a little bit more, because we didn't get a chance to talk to you as much as I wanted to uh, during the regular part of the the, um, the presentation on, on Mike Coleman's radio. John, how did you get started in inventing? 
You know, ever since I was a child, you know, from eighth grade, I won the science fair two years in a row, and it's just been my passion. And to this day, it still is. You know, it's just something that I love to do. Do you remember, like, the first invention that you ever created? I made a negative ion generator back in eighth grade, and uh, that's what took first place. And uh, I made an electronic drill uh, in seventh grade. Oh, that's cool. And, uh, I think that actually, yeah, that took second, but yeah. yeah. Uh, that's pretty we'll, impressive. Be that young and make a negative ion. I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. you but it the, sounds remember great. Remember the iron generators we used to sell on HSN? Yeah. That kind of thing. Oh, it is? Really? Yeah, it helps to clean the air. And, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Is this the first item, though, that you're getting more attention to? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I have several other ones, but yeah, this is my main one. Oh, that's great. Well, tell me a little bit about the simple spin. Don't give me the pitch yet, but what? why, why create the simple spin? You know, I've always been a health nut and uh, from day one. But it, it started out as a uh, to extract the liquid from tuna because I hated, you know, squeezing the can and all that. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, that's gross. That, that is yeah. gross. That's no fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then it went on to hamburgers, um, tomatoes, uh, and, and extracting liquids from food and, and grease. And it just kind of evolved from there. So it's, it's, so it's, it's, it's something that you hook up to like a blender, right? Uh, it, it's going to be sold either as an attachment or a standalone unit, or maybe both. We haven't decided yet. Um, so it, it really all depends. All right. All right. Cool. Well, John, you know how this works, but for those of you in your car or listening to us live here on Michael Inventions Radio, what we do is we allow the inventor. Now we've kind of found a little bit more about them. Now that he's John's going to pitch the simple spin. He's going to he's going to give you his best pitch, and then you get a chance to vote. You go to our website at MyCoolInventionsRadio.com, or you can actually use your telephone. You can text to the number two two three three three, and for John, his keyword is spin. So S P I N. Yes. So all you have to do is go to two two three 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 on your on your you text that to that number and then put spin in the text and then that'll actually show up on our website and you can actually watch it live both on the front of our website as well on the the you vote link as well. So John, are you ready? I am. All right. So when the music ends, the pitch to me music ends. You get ready to pitch. Okay. All right, Thank Ace. Sure. Cue that music. Do you got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. I love you, Max. Imagine no longer having to crack an egg, worrying about picking out fragments of shells. I've invented a centrifugal force food processor that in less than one second cracks and removes all shells, scrambles the eggs, white and yolk, making an omelet or just scrambled eggs. Imagine no longer having to squeeze a tuna can's lid to extract the juice from tuna. No more cuts, no more fishy smell. Remember, eliminate the liquid, you've eliminated the majority of the smell. What if you could control the amount of saturated fat in greasy foods by centrifugal force, like hamburger patties, sausage patties, or links, french fries, bacon, or any other greasy foods, while still keeping form, flavor, and temperature? Imagine depositing eggs into the simple spin and it separating the yolk from the white and in seconds making a meringue. What if you could no longer have to blanch tomatoes or peel the skins to make puree or tomato juice? Simply deposit the unblanched tomatoes and in seconds the skins and seeds are removed. That is what the Simple Spin can do. Google or YouTube Simple Spin to view our video, and for more information, all inquiries and correspondence should be sent to simplespinpm at outlook.com. Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. <laughs> there you go. John, good job. That was good. Wow. Well, you got it in. You, you, actually, you actually got it in even under the wire. Yeah, which that's is, pretty awesome. It was, was pretty amazing. And it was packed full of information. So what do you think? I mean, Suzanne, what, do you, what did you think of John's uh, pitch? Actually, I think it's a pretty good pitch. Um, I'll tell you where it got me, because I always wait to hear when I get the aha. Like, like, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, that's interesting. And then you go, oh, and you know what it was? I finally, I, I didn't quite, I didn't really understand the egg thing. I couldn't visualize that. But when you got to the tomatoes, where it's going to keep the skin and the rest is going to go away, right. right? So when I got, I finally right. got it at yeah. that point. Oh, so I don't, because okay. I was trying to figure out what it does without being able to So see you it, said, to, you know, John, if you were like on air and you said, John, if you were going to pitch us on, like, let's say on, on one of the shopping channels, you, you'd want to get to that aha moment just a little bit sooner then, right? Maybe. Well, and yeah. also I think it's more, what you did is a great job not having the visual. I think visually it's going to be an amazing item on air. I really do because there's yeah. so many visuals to show sure. and that's a key. But for not being able to see it, I thought he did a great job of trying to explain. 
explain it. Awesome, John. And I really like the health benefits. I thought that was awesome. That's good. That's good. And that's you know she's and she's an accomplished professional too, like uh, both ACOS and myself. So. Take that, to take that, uh, take that information to heart. So, for those of you listening right now, if you're in your car, if you have your smartphone, text to the number two two three three three. First, pull over, then text That's to the right. number two two three three three. And if you want to vote for John and his simple spin, just put spin in your text to the number 22333 or for those of you at home just go ahead and go to our website at mycoolinventions.com you can vote right from the home page or go to you vote so you can actually see the voting which is already happening pretty big time john thanks for being on the show we we look forward to hear from you again if you win this round okay thanks guys thanks Good john. Luck, john so right now there you go there's inventor one okay so now That's we're great. right on to inventor number two <laughs> joining us today on my cool inventions radio we're certainly glad to have you uh listening no matter no matter where you are uh in the world today um actually uh brenda patterson is going to be joining joining us with a product called flower freshies now brenda welcome to my cool inventions radio hi thank you for having me yeah we're glad to, to have you with us say hi to suzanne who's joined us today Hi, Suzanne. Hello, Miss Brenda. It's very nice to meet you. Yes. My pleasure. Yes, Brenda, she's a lot better looking than Akos. I'll just tell you right now. <laughs> she's not bad on the eyes. <laughs> I can only imagine if, if Akos were to wear what she's wearing right now, nah, nah, that wouldn't be good. It'd be different. Yeah, yeah. You're, it would. you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So, so Brenda, tell me a little bit about your, 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 uh, your avenue. How did you get to become an inventor? Actually, it was quite by accident. <laughs> I um, started my own business because of a product that I fell in love with, and it was actually a product that was on HSN years ago. Really? And, and in looking for another product for someone else, I stumbled across a product that I thought would be a good residential application, and it was only being used as commercial. Oh. That's how I started. Really? What do you think are some of the hurdles that you didn't expect to um, have to climb over to get to a point where you could bring an invention to for it, fruition? I'm sorry. I know that Suzanne was talking, but I cannot hear her. I apologize. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Can yeah, you hear me now? You, yes, that's a microphone. Suzanne, yes, you know what? Usually it. I have a little one clipped on me. <laughs> hey, well, Brenda, the, the question was, what are some of the hurdles that you faced getting to this invention? What kind of something, she said. What, I have what kind hurdles. Of, what kind of hurdles? Has it, have oh. you had to go through to, 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 to create your invention? The biggest hurdle is, number one, having enough money to market the product. And number yeah. two, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I didn't know anybody. <laughs> so. Oh, there you go. Now, and now you've got the radio show. You can help. We do, hopefully will help you out if you win the, uh, the, certainly the, the, indiv- individual, the individual prize or the ending prize is that $50,000 marketing package, which is a big thing. Oh, I know. I think you guys are doing a great job. This is a wonderful platform for so many of us out here. Well, thank you, Brenda. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, Flower Freshies. Don't give me your pitch, but just what is it? Flower Freshies is a little tiny packet of what I call power pellets that extend the life of your fresh cut flowers. So when you go to the store and you buy those expensive flowers and they die in a day or two, this is something that will keep them lasting longer. I've never had that happen before. (laughs) And I give so many flowers out. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, but but is that something like what they would do in a in a uh, like a nursery? Well, my thinking is that it would be good for the grower or the flower distributor that distributes to the florist and the grocery stores. Okay, include the flower um, freshies packet with all of the bouquets that they sell. Oh, so it, you could actually have it maybe as a, uh, where, where like you go into one of these, one of these big box stores and they have groceries and they have all the other things, but they have a, an area where they have flowers. 